I just looked all through all round the bees and that just to see if there's a swarm and that and I spent sort of 10 minutes down here in this area here and uh, I looked up at the top and I looked at those hives up there and then I went up there to look at the brambles and when I was coming back down on this bush here is a very nice swarm indeed and I wouldn't have noticed this unless I'd gone to the brambles so I'm going to bring a brood box up here and just drop it straight in and then move it uh, when they settle down so an excellent swarm it's just a pity it's uh, the last day in June but nevertheless it will make uh, a nice hive for next year right this is the uh, situation I just brought this brood, brood box and floor I've left the uh, the narrow garden at the bottom I'm going to take a few of these frames out and the swarm is just above so I'm just going to bend the branch above I'm going to take four of these frames out or maybe these were just foundation in at the side so just giving it a little bit of a gap I'll have to force that with me hive tool Right, I've just broken these in the middle here. I've just taken some foundation out, uh, which is on frames, and I'm gonna drop the swarm right in the middle, and then I'm just going to put the top on and leave here until um, another hour or so, and then I'm going to move the bees. Well, so far, the extra room, opening up the bottom fully, and adding a super to the top, seems to have worked they stayed put there's bees obviously going out now and working and there's other bees looking and making sure they know the new home where the new home is so I'm quite happy now I'll have another look just in case because I've known bees in one day out the next in and out so unless you move them about three mile away then they'll keep on doing it well hopefully this has settled down and it will stay put